I'm just going to show you guys how Oslogic's boost speed has helped me speed up my computer. As you can see, I have the um, newest version of boost speed. I uh, recently got the uh, update a few weeks ago. Um, this is still the trial version. I haven't registered it yet, but regardless of that, it still has many features open to the public. The best thing that I do enjoy about this is being able to see your system information right from the top left side. As you uh, look right here, you have all your information, your CPU name, your uh, r the rate your CPU runs at, your cores, how many RAM, how much RAM you have, four gigabytes of RAM as you can see here, what video card you have, and most importantly, what operating system you have. As you can see here, there are so many different features that you can um, use to your advantage. Erasing browser history can be done through um, your internet browser, but the great, but the point of boost speed is to be able to combine everything into one application. You can erase your browser history, you can erase your Windows history, which is probably your uh, tracks of all of your recent documents, Ch clean up your temporary files, which is usually what this cleanup would do, and optimize memory. All of these are integrated into either Windows or separate programs, but Boostby combines all these together, which allows for a really great application. As you can see here, all of your registry errors, you can check and uncheck whatever preferences you want to make sure that you can um, have whatever kind of stuff you want to keep to be kept and what kind of errors you want to get deleted to get deleted. In the second here we have junk files. You can choose which ones you would want to delete in that situation. It allows for a lot of customizability. You can um, delete specific tracks of history. Uh, as you can see memory dumps, various things that may affect your computers. If you've had many crashes in the past it will store a lot of dump files and uh, if you want to get rid of those you can do that right from boost speed instead of having to go through um, much more advanced things that would require a lot more technical expertise. So disk errors you can repair those right from here. Fragmented disks. This comes with a separate program that Oslogix has created that's called Oslogix Disk Defrag. That is used to um, defrag your disks as a cleaner, much more colorful option than the default uh, Windows Disk Defragmenter. And this is integrated into Boost Speed, which I really like. We, as you can see, we have I've scanned my system 15 hours ago. We repaired most of these problems. Not all of them can be fixed because I have not yet registered the program. As you can see here, you can scan, repair, and then sleep at the end of your scan, which is very nice. You can have it shut down automatically so that when you, you know, you can just kind of leave and it'll scan and then turn off your computer. That's tab one. Tab two, System Advisor. Automatically detects your problems. As soon as you click on it, it will give you um, nice advice to what kind of stuff you should turn off, what kind of stuff can um, keep you from um, utilizing your computer to the fullest, and uh, stuff that just, as you can see here, disable administrative shares. Um, I'm not going to do any of this yet, but as you can see here, as a nice clean description of each thing so that you know what exactly what you're disabling. And uh, you can hide you, the advice if you already if you know what you're doing and you feel like you may want to. Um, and then you can always click refresh to see if there's anything else your system advisor may want you to do. Next tab is resource usage. This is usually seen in task manager, but as you can see here, it's a lot more detailed. You have the, the top user, the number one. Um, usage of your CPU right here as you can see it's flashback my um, screen recorder and uh, as you can see you can see your uh, CPU usage your RAM usage 0 out of 4 gigabytes the total number the disk usage your complete as you can see who's using the most disk space or a uh, disk usage at the time and your network I'm not connected to a network so this is not going to go up or down any but it's very nice to be able to track all these things from one place and that's what boost speeds for and as you can see here, advanced tools, you get all of these different options. Defrag, clean up, repair your disks. You can even remove duplicate files and explore your disks. They have a startup item manager built into there. Windows used to have it integrated into their system, but not anymore. And Boost Speed offers that option now. You can also get rid of your software from here. Um, you can tweak your specific system settings. You can optimize all services that are um, running in the background you can have specific ones to stop or start at specific times and all various things like that 
You can recover files that have been deleted even out of the recycle bin. You can um, recover those and have them come right back to your desktop or wherever you may want them to go. Rescue Center, as you can see, this is an extra window here. This allows um, you to undo all the stuff that has been um, clogging up your system. Um, the stuff that you've un um, done in boost speed, you can always go back and do that. And you can also um, redo your restore points, as you can see here from um, System Restore. That's also available in boost speed. You can repair your registry, defragment your registry. You can get a bunch of different um, information on your system, of course. As you can see right here, I'm opening. It's very similar to the default, but it um, it almost has a um, a CPU Z kind of feel. You can look at all kinds of info on here, as you can see. Almost anything you may want to find out, you can find out here. There's also Task Manager that's integrated into Boost Speed. Also, as you can see, services and specific locked files if you want to unlock those. You can erase all of your history from here. You can shred files that have already been deleted and make sure they cannot be recovered. You can also wipe specific disks if you want to completely get rid of all data in there. You can also speed up your internet access automatically, which is uh, very nice for a lot of people who uh, get on the internet a lot, which is basically 75% of the world at least. Um, the internet, um, internet browsers are probably the n number one most used application in the world today and then you can manually optimize. As you can see, these locked symbols here are what you get without activating or registering boost speed, but yet you still have a lot of things open to you. As you can see, I still have the 15-day trial, and that lasts for a good amount of time so that you can get the huge feel of the program before actually buying it. So, boost speed has so many features. I don't even know, I mean, I've used it multiple times. Whenever my computer's slowing down, turn to boost speed. Boost Speed will always give you the uh, options to be able to speed up your computer in whatever way, form, or fashion you may want to. Um, not only that, but it has just a wealth amount of customization. If you want specific stuff to be deleted and specific stuff to be keyed, Boost Speed can do that. If you want to um, defrag your disks, Boost Speed can do that. If you want to clean out all your junk files from whatever on your computer, Boost Speed can also do that. Um, and on top of that, it's all overlaid with a nice clean interface. Nice colors. Um, doesn't look old. Ni looks nice, fresh, and new. And it's nice and easy to navigate with the tab function here. So that's pretty much what I use to speed up my computer. Boost speed is my number one turn. If you um, ever need help, you can always contact Oslogix for help. They have the answers because they've created the program. So. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.